Welcome back to the Lemming Report. And joining us now is Chris Doyle, strength and conditioning coach for the Iowa Hawkeyes for over 13 years, coming in with head coach Kirk Ferentz. Since their arrival, the program has become known as one of the nation's best for player development and help prepare former Hawkeyes, including Dallas Clark, Chad Greenway, and Robert Gallery, making a seamless leap to the NFL. Chris, thanks so much for joining us today. How did you get started in this field? Oh, I, as a young kid, you know, I had an interest in strength conditioning as a player. Went to Boston University, and I remember back in 1986 actually writing a paper for a freshman class where I interviewed Mike Wojcik, who at the time was a strength coach at Syracuse and went on to the NFL. He's got six Super Bowl rings now, and, you know, that was my first introduction to kind of what, you know, what is a strength coach and what a strength coach does. Chris, you know, um, you, Molly just mentioned a few of the big stars that you've helped develop. Are there any ball players that once you, when you first saw them heading to the University of Iowa, you thought, no way this guy's going to really make an impact, and you were surprised by his work ethic and his following the, the, your instructions and became an impact player? You know, coming in the, in the segment where you entered into this, this part of the program, you mentioned Dallas Clark and, and Chad Greenway. They were both 200-pound high school quarterbacks. You know, and they were just guys that were really competitive, smart, tough kids that love to work, and uh, they certainly have, have made a name for themselves on the, field, on the football field. Well, you've made a big name for yourself. And just about everywhere I go, the name Chris Doyle is synonymous with strength training, and you've done a great job at Iowa. I know are you and Kirk Ferentz almost always on the same page when it comes to developing the players and, 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 and guiding them towards a uh, strength program? Well, at Iowa, it's, a, it's really a team approach, and it's everybody. It's Coach Ferentz. It's led by Coach Ferentz, and Kirk Ferentz has an incredible eye for, for people. He believes in people. He has an optimistic viewpoint, upon, at, and when he looks at young athletes, so he can always see the best in a young athlete, but also our coaching staff does a great job identifying the right people, bringing them into our program, and trying to marry them with a culture that uh, leads to achievement on the football field. So it's really a team approach. Everybody's involved. You know, when we look at a young athlete, everybody's going to contribute, our coaches, our head coach, as well as strength conditioning to determine what the best position is for that athlete. You know, we believe in getting the right guys on the bus and then figuring out what seat they're going to take on that bus. But getting good people on the bus that are willing to work at it, that's really the starting point. Chris, you played football in high school. How has training evolved since you played? It's really, it's really come a long way. You know, strength conditioning is similar to the field of medicine. You know, think about all the medical breakthroughs that have happened over the past 30 years. Well, it's 30 years ago that I was on a high school football field. You know, and, and we did what we could in, in the facilities that we had. I remember I went to Boston College High School, and, and uh, I remember walking into the, to the basement of the athletic building, and there was a universal gym in an old locker room. And that's really, you know, we did what we could. But over the past 30 years, there's been quite a few developments. We, we continue to evolve and learn about how the human body responds to training. And uh, we've, uh, you know, we, we try to stay cutting edge in that and constantly looking for ways to improve our athletes. Chris, that universal gym seems to be in everybody's high school. I had the same thing with our, we had a 70-member football team with one universal gym, so things really have gone up. But, you know, what kind of advice would you give a 13, 14, 15-year-old who has a desire to play football but needs to add some weight and strength? What kind of program would you put those young men at? Well, you ask a great question because I have a 15-year-old high school football player that lives in my house. Um, so I'm, we're kind of talking about that all the time. All the time. The first thing I tell kids: don't get caught up in all this recruiting stuff about as far as you know, blue chip or this or that. You know, the, all these um, recruiting things. You know, you you really um, you want to focus on what can what can make you better. Uh, talent is overrated. There's, the, our building is loaded with talented athletes. It's how you think. It's how you work. The first thing you have to figure out is, hey, what do you want to do? You set some goals for what you want to do. Develop a plan of action. And then you have to realize that there's going to be adversity along the way. Um, when you look at training the total football athlete, there's a lot that goes into the football athlete. But learning the fundamentals of strength conditioning is critical. Chris, sign me up. I'm ready to start training with you. Thank you so much for your time, and congratulations on all your success and the culture that you've built at Iowa. Molly and Tom, thank you so much for including the University of Iowa football program um, with your program.